true. That's gonna sound horrible. <laughs> that was terrifying. Welcome to another episode of the Damage Goods Podcast. I would like to personally apologize for the break. Uh, it was mostly on me, the, the fact that there were no episodes for a while. You know, mental health. I uh, was hitting some some ATLs. Was not doing too hot, but I feel better. We're we're you know, we're chilling. We're here. But thing is, there there's when, when stuff like this happens, you need to take care of yourself. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, so, which you know. the thing, the thing is, like when stuff like this happens, it's not due to the fact that like we don't want to do the podcast. It's just that we're just gonna put it on pause because you need to take care of yourself. Right. I mean, if you, I would, I would hope that if you were in a position where you couldn't do it that you would tell me you know the, the oh yeah way. like, like if, I would... if if i wasn't able to like say like do it tonight i would say i would hit you up say hey man i i just can't do it tonight i gotta do it like next week or something yeah, but, oh it. speaking of which I, I i don't mind saying this on the this oh, episode but yeah. we have to reschedule for this friday oh my okay because this because this friday is the parade for, oh uh, right Cal- yes yes that's fair. yeah so <laughs> That's because cool. I got vol- I got voluntold to fucking hand out candy. Mm, exciting. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait. So, well, yeah. Me well, neither. I mean, I hope you have a yeah. good time anyway. Well, I'm just uh, I'll be like just throwing shit. So that's I get to throw kids candy at kids. So <laughs> yeah, the, the dream. Plus, plus, I won't have my van there, so it won't be too creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. So, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're uh Oh, uh, I, so okay. So I didn't actually. I don't actually know if you knew this, Victor, but I didn't get a chance to upload our last podcast because I was doing very badly. Yeah, yeah. I, I figured as much. You just left it on the back burner. So this is gonna be our first podcast doing it over Discord. We're not in person, which is why Victor will sound yes. sounds not very different, not as clear. I, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're over Discord because Victor moved. And yes. uh, his, the space we're going to record the podcast is is podcast in is a work in progress. Yes, because it's kind of occupied with my kid. Yeah, there's like a whole child in there for some reason. Kind yes. Of yeah. I, yeah. There's a radiator with like chains and stuff. We try yeah, to keep oh. her in there, but it doesn't work. She's a crafty but, one. I'm a, yeah, she is. She's a master of the uh, the the lock picking, mm. and she's only nine. That's pretty incredible. Slide of hand yes. out of control. Yes, slide of hand is out. Fucking D twenty on point. Mm. D twenty. Very true. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we're, but, we're we're coming back. I don't know. The, I don't know what to do because like I have this Halloween episode we did, but like, where do you put? I don't know when to put it. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know. We like. I, I we're gonna have to kind of sneak it in there. Yeah, so we like, have like an unreleased secret episode now, and I don't know yeah. where to put it or when to put it up. Yeah, we're. You know what? We're gonna we're, we're gonna make a like a OnlyFans, and it's like if someone donates like a thousand dollars to us, they get that secret episode. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's fucking steep. But okay, anyway. five dollars. How about that? Five dollars for the episode. Well, let's not sell ourselves short. It's a pretty good episode. <laughs> yeah. I think it's... We talked about, like, zombie apocalypse or something? Yes. No, no, I think... Stuff. Uh, Halloween themes. It was, yeah, it was we talk, zombies. Yeah, we talked about, like, the most realistic... The remote... The, what we thought was the most realistic type of zombie outbreak represented in media. Yes. And how... And I think we landed on The Last of Us. Yes, yes. We landed on The Last of Us. And we also... I did a little research that day. Okay. And uh, I looked up when the first zombie... When the first creation of zombies were ever made. But also going back to the history on voodoo and stuff for zombies. Right. I remember that. Yeah, I remember. Yes, I also recall that. But uh, yes. I don't know. I, if, I don't know what to do with this episode. Maybe uh, 45 years from now, we'll release it. 
<laughs> yeah. Back in my day, I did a podcast and I never released this video, uh, this podcast episode. I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> I don't know why I sounded old thunder right there, but no, was, I liked it. It was good. But um, my brain yeah. hurts. It's been a it's been a day for me. I tried to stream yeah. today. Oh, I saw I, that. And I, I was streaming for like normal for like two hours, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna play a different game." And just every game I tried to play was just fucked. Like it was breaking, or slow, or just not playable at the moment for because it needed to be like updated or something. Yeah, and, and I did that for like forty minutes, and I was like, "God, I'm chat. I'm so sorry," and I just ended the stream. Oh, oh God! So that it was not. Sucks great i just like have a headache and just trying to drink water and yeah chill just chilling but um but do you want to yeah. introduce the topic i feel like i've talked too much and i'm self-conscious so, today's episode today's yeah titties today's episode is on titties i mean no it's not <laughs> oh my god but, but today's episode is another what if episode of if games or movies were real. Yeah. The hypothetical so, on if yes. what what we think the world would be like if a game and a movie were real. Yes, Victor so I movie. Yes. I I I suggested this one because it's super cool because the knowledge of movies I have is Thick. fucking crazy. Thick. Victor's like got super thick, thick movie energy. Yeah, and then you picking the games is just that's up your alley. Yeah, we because you're we we we've combined two things that we both really enjoy and made it. Yeah, that's a really a thing. You know, I gotta I gotta say, really smart topic idea you for you, like that you came up with yeah. here. Like, yeah, it, it they, really takes advantage of our both of our skill sets. Yeah, like cause, like it's because you it's good. you ha- you have the knowledge for the games, which I uh, I like gaming. Yeah. I just I like games for the storylines, and that's it. You t- you take a whole another approach for it. I love I love a good story. I love good mechanics. I love completing games, like hundred percenting them, getting every yeah. trophy or achievement. I like talking about video games on the internet while people look at me and laugh. Sometimes with me, but usually at me. But inside, they're laughing with you, though. Well, so. I'd like to believe that. But then, with movies, I like the storylines. I like how they made it, how they were able to direct it, how the script was made. Like, mm-hmm. every little detail in it. It was just, it's just perfect for me, because that's the thing I like, because I grew up with watching movies all the oh, time. Yeah. I'm not... So. I like movies. I'm just like, oh, I know, dude. There's something wrong with my brain. Obviously, I always have like this like apprehension when it comes to watching movies. But you know, that's something I'll work past. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> I hope. So today on what if I picked the movie Transformers. So, okay, actually, this is a good time to bring it up. I didn't, when you said Transformers, my first thought was, like, I don't know anything about Transformers, really. I know there's, here. I know about the Michael Bay movies with Megan Fox. Yes. Obviously, there was a cartoon. Yes. Uh, I know there's uh, Optimus Prime, uh, Negatron, or I think. Mega, Mega, Megatron? Megatron? Yes, yeah. Megatron. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bumblebee is one, yes. right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, you go to like a pyramid in one of the movies and looking for a cube or something? Uh, second one. There's like a Optimus Prime has a sword in one of them? Uh, last night. See? He knows. So I I don't, I don't know I don't even, like I'm just like pulling out like strings of like memories and you're like th- threading them into sweaters, you know what I yep. mean? Yep. Like I yeah, 
Because we actually, since uh, we have the surround sound now in the living room, mm-hmm. I have three movies of Transformers in, on DVD. So we were actually starting to watch them. And the only way I can watch the first movie is surround sound because the first five minutes where it's like, before time began, there was the cube. Mm-hmm. And just that, that sequence mm-hmm. right there with the surround sound just fits perfectly. Okay. I, I, I've i seen a Transformers movie, maybe more than one, but it's been so long, it's just not like, it's not in my brain. Like, I, I have no. no memory of it. Same with, like, Pacific Rim. Like, I know we went to see it together in theaters, but I don't oh, yeah. remember anything. That was such an amazing movie. That's another thing I want to do a talk to a what if on it. I don't know, keep that in mind for next time. I will yeah. keep that. In. I've had that one in mind for ever since we started talking about these episodes. Hell yeah. So. Um, but, you know, lead, lead the way. Because I, I have no Transformers knowledge, so please take it so, away. So, for Transformers, uh, the, so the Transformers TV show from yeah. Started in 1984. Oh, I also know about Beast Wars. That, I know that too. Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> okay, okay. A second. Sorry, I didn't mean to rush. So, but apparently, what uh, I'm seeing here on Wikipedia. Which, oh, he's, got, he's which, doing a research live? I Yeah, I'm doing research live because it's that's what I'm going to do now because I want to up my game here. There's comic book series, which I have one comic book of it. Okay. Uh, and there are Japanese, British, and TV uh, Canadian spinoffs. Ooh, all my favorite. Which I, which I never knew there was. I, I believe I knew there was Japanese versions of it because I think it's like a Japanese show first. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I might be wrong. I, I, tell. I might. When I read, when I read more into it, it will probably. But uh, with that being said, there was. The trans the original Transformers. Yep. Where uh, of course this is the war on Cybertron, which is their home planet, between the Autobots and Decepticons. Right. And uh, of course it's uh, Optimus Prime versus Megatron. Mm-hmm. But since their planet was dying at the exact same time, they launched two ships into outer space, crashed on Earth was i'm gonna say like frozen i think oh okay like superman or like yeah well not not so much like superman but like the whole crashing the earth thing yes yeah uh but then of course the human race evolved and stuff throughout the years and they were doing some destruction like they were blowing up shit and then one of the the robots uh, the humans. They okay. were like making like uh, spots for like towns and cities. And right, right. Okay. And I'm guessing the uh, shock wave of the explosions knocked one of the Transformers over. Mm-hmm. If I'm remembering this correctly, because I did watch the first episode a few months ago. And uh, it uh, sounded, uh, 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 it made something click in the ship to revive everybody. Oh. Spicy. So then, of course, it was Megatron and his group that were revived first. And then the Autobots were revived. So the Decepticons first, the Autobots last. Right. So then that went on for, I'm going to say, maybe five seasons, I believe, if I'm correct. And I believe you're correct. You wouldn't lie to me. Well, give or take. <laughs> And, uh, um, but the one series I really like was Beast Wars. Yeah. Beast was Wars they was... They were, like, bomb. transforming into, like, animals instead of cars, yes. right? Yes. Yes, because what cool. happened was... It was basically the same same kind of storyline, but the timeline was different. Okay. So they crashed, they crashed on Earth, like, I'm going to say a million years before... No, like... Uh, fuck, how do we, uh, like, maybe 500 years after they, uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron crashed on Earth. Yeah. So it kind of laughed at each other. 
Mm -hmm. So during the show, they find the actual ship that they crashed in, like Optimus Prime, and because there's okay, yeah, there's, there's the Autobots and the Maximals. The Maximals. Yes. Okay. The Maximal are the Beast Wars uh, robots. But how do they transform into animals? Uh, they when they their ship crashed, uh, a little beacon went up yeah. and uh, scanned the area. So like an ape, uh, cheater, uh, cheetah, uh, cheetah <laughs> rhino, uh, and a mouse or a rat. Damn! Imagine being the loser guy who has to transform into a rat. Oh man, he's a smart ass. All your homies transforming into majestic, beautiful animals, and you a rat. That's true. So you have. <laughs> so, I I love this so so much. You have Optimus Primal. Okay. It's not op. It's the same mm -hmm. like Optimus Prime, but yeah, Primal. Yeah. You have Cheetor, which is my favorite character. Cheetor. You have Rhinox. Mm-hmm. It's another Pokemon. And then you. And then you have Rat Trap. Rat Trap. Did they even did him dirty on the name? But he is the most badass character on the show. Okay, I mean, they better be. Like, they did him dirty. They made him a rat and called him a rat tramp. Because, like, he, he's he's the smallest Transformer, well, but he's the, the like, he's got the most attitude toward everybody. Mm -hmm. But when it I comes mean, down to, like, the, when it comes down to the bitter end, he's there fighting with the long everybody hell yeah my man you know what my man rat trap nothing but respect and then uh the fucking decepticons uh uh uh, uh what were they called, uh, what were they, called? <laughs> they weren't called rat decepticons. trap deceptic uh, animals <laughs> yeah probably not that would trying to try to try to mix up make a pun up in my head just the Cerbivores. <laughs> no. There wouldn't be a Cerbivores. That wouldn't make any damn sense. The villains are always eating meat. So... You find You find You scroll on the wiki? I'm, I'm scrolling Google. <laughs> oh, man. We should have done our research uh, ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Google, they're... Go to a picture of Rat Trap. I want to see this man. Yeah, it's damn he he, ugly. Yeah, they fucking yeah. <laughs> he's ugly. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's ugly. Yeah, so if you guys, if anybody listening, if wants to look up the Transformers Beast Wars names and shit, fucking do it. I I only like the uh, fucking <laughs> Autobots one because the fucking sweet. But yeah. then after that season is done, they go to Beast Machines. Oh, like Beast Machines? Oh. Beast There's Machines. Like a it's a sequel to Beast Wars. Oh. It only, it only lasted two seasons, but somehow they all end up back on Cybertron. The fuck? That's weird. Yeah, How and they everything's that? different. I, I don't know. I still gotta watch all three seasons of Beast Wars and then watch Beast Machines. Intra okay. Right. Well, you'll but, have to give us an update. Yo, I'm looking oh, at yeah, pictures of Cheetor. That dude's cool as hell. Yeah, and he's <laughs> my that. That's the reason why he's my favorite character because he looks cool as shit. He looks sick. He's got like a tiger or well, I guess a cheetah on his chest. Like he's dripped out. Oh yeah. <laughs> like a rat traps bitch. <laughs> Oh man, they did my man dirty. Yo, he looks cool. Oh yeah, yeah. But Rat Trap is like the most sarcastic fucking piece of shit on the show. Same, except the sarcastic part. I'm just a piece of shit. <laughs> and so then you go to like what they have now, like uh, rescue bots, the Predacons. Is that it? A uh, Predac? Yes, Predacons. That's, yeah. So it was um, the Maximals versus the Predacons. Yes. Okay, I feel that makes sense. The predators. Yeah. 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 And like they're uh, dinosaurs, uh, so they're there's a 
uh, Pterodactyl. There's oh, uh, Meg- really? Megatron is a uh, T-Rex. Of course. Um, there is a raptor, a scorpion, a spider. That's all you see in the first couple episodes. They always got to do someone dirty. Yeah. They're like, yeah, T-Rex, sick. Velociraptor, dope. You're a spider. No one likes you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. So then go 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 to the like newer seasons of all like uh, uh Transformers Prime or whatever. Like all the newer stuff for all the new kids. Yeah. So and then of course you have the movies. Right. Which you have the you have the Transformers, Transformers uh the Rise of the Fallen. Okay. You have uh, Transformers uh, Dark Side of the Moon. You have Transformers Extinction. Don't like and that. Transformers The Last Night. Yeah, and, I, saw, I remember seeing trailers for The Last Night, and I was like, what the? That and finally, fucking finally, Transformers The Rise of the Beasts. Oh. They are so doing they a back. course movie. It comes out June 2023. Oh. I didn't even they, know they were still making uh, They better not do my boy dirty. I, you know what, man? As, even as someone who doesn't really engage with sorry, my brain. Transformers, I hope it's sick. I hope it's awesome. Man, it looks so cool. Like the way, like I know, like they're not going to fully do what they did in the TV show because there's not a lot of much you can do because they're robots. But yeah. the way it looks, it looks fantastic. The hell yeah, man! Because the way they did um, the Dinobots in Extinction were mm-hmm. was cool, but they did the Dinobots kind of dirty though. Was it just not very good? Uh the the way they did the Dinobots is. Because, well, spoilers for whoever hasn't seen Extinction, they start off with the movie where it's back in the pre story days with dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. And they, the Transformers, like, creations or whatever, the creator or whatever, is dropping bombs around the world where the dinosaurs are. So it's like a bomb where, like, it turns everything around it, like, metal. Oh. So, like, you see, like, um... A, like a baby T Rex get hit. Good, good little motherfucker had it coming. But then you see, like, I'm gonna say, like after they say, oh, now to the present day, there's like a huge, massive T Rex in the fucking ice wall. Hmm. Yeah, which is badass. Oh, yeah, and Optimus awesome. Prime gets to ride him, so that's pretty. Oh cool. shit. Yeah, so so I'm going to take with the movies because the, there's so many TV shows go off, but I'm going to go with the movies. So if Transformers were real, that yeah. all hell would break loose. I mean, that's what I was thinking, right? I'm like, like even if they were good guys, I feel like they're so comedically large, they would just fuck things up by accident. Oh yeah, like they would ruin shit. Even in car mode, like, I don't know. I guess in car mode they might be okay, but like, it, it would it, it would just be just a disaster because you would, every time let's say like the battles where the movies are showing, yeah. So you have like uh that you oh what what's that uh big 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 dam in the states? Oh, uh, Hoover Dam is that one? Yeah, I think I think it's called. That's the only dam I know off the top of my head, so I hope that's right. I hope. Well, whatever. We're not. I'm not even having. We're not dam experts. You don't come to this fucking podcast for dam trivia. You don't come to this podcast for learning. But where that is, like Starscream, uh, like basically Megatron's left, like right hand man, like Mm -hmm. legit blows shit up. Yeah. Like just out of nowhere just starts blowing shit up. Who's gonna pay for that? Yeah. I mean that's that's yeah. billions of uh, dollars. I mean, yeah, that's 
I mean, like, and like it, like it's just. It, it, it's like every action movie ever. Like you sit, you sit there. It's like, oh, that that was cool. Like it crashed through the building. Yeah, how many people died? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, and like, it's funny because like it's like the Avengers. Like you see like buildings crumbling and shit, and like the next movie, it's all rebuilt. Yeah, like yeah. Like, like, come on, okay. Like, come on, how like. I, I get it. It's a comic book movie, or like, like, and that's like a Transformers too. Like uh, in the first one, where they're battling in the city, and like Ironhide like does his like blasting over a chick, destroys the street to jump over this chick like super cool, mm-hmm. just to get his ass kicked, and gets put into a building. Yeah, like they're just too big. <laughs> And, like, honestly, it would be one of those things where, like, it would be, like, kind of, like, cool but terrifying in the beginning. Yeah. And then, like, throughout the years, you're like, oh, fuck, another Transformers fight. How much is going to be out of my tax dollars now? Yep. Uh, tax is going up. Transformers are going to cause inflation. Yeah. Transformers are going to fuck all our bills up. But, honestly, it, like, for me, it would be... It'd be cool, but terrifying at the same time. Dude, yeah. Can you imagine being like, I don't know where the Transformers movies take place. I'm just going to assume New York because they all every movie takes place there. Nope. So, nope. Not New York. Uh, Chicago. Yes. Chicago is the third one. Got him. They fuck Chicago up. <laughs> like, they put, like, they'd be like calling in like, like favors from other countries. They'd be like, yo, Canada. Chicago's dead. Please help. Like, we, yeah. Like we can't help you. And like it's it's just it's, it's like, and really, and there's the way the human race is is that, regardless if the tra- like so like to say Autobots yeah. are good have good intentions, we mm-hmm. would totally disassemble them and just oh. tell them like you know what, fuck you, we're taking your technology. For sure. Like th- that's the thing is like. It kind of brings up a moral quandary of like, yeah, they're good, but they're f- destroying shit. Like even without trying, like they're they're, they're in our backyard. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. Do we just like what? What can you do? Oof. And like they they and they they proved that in Extinction as well because the government turns their back on them. They're mm-hmm. hiding. They're afraid of the human race because of they had an alliance, but then, of course, they break it because the human race are stubborn as fuck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they are not willing to share their technology with with the humans to better them, better ourselves. But it's it's more of a it's like you're you're good for a few years, but then fear takes over. Yep. It's I mean, it's kind of like that. at the end of Man of Steel where they're like trying to spy on Superman, and they're yeah. like, "How do we know we can trust you?" And it's like, and then he he pulls up the famous line, "Come on, General, I lived in Kansas for thirty five years. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm the more American that you can ever get. Yeah, I was as American as it gets. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and and that's like the most badass line ever. <laughs> like, yep. But yeah, it's, it's, and then, like, it's so cool how the way the movies are working is because they're saying that the Transformers have been here for thousands of years. Yeah, right. So like, it's not like the first one where you don't see that they've been here before. Yeah. The second one, they show, oh, this is not the first time our kind met the humans. I mean, and I, then I just don't see. And it. then you, and then you see in the last last one. So the last night where they're like, "Oh yeah, we have a secret society with the robots, and mm-hmm. we we have to keep them safe and shit." It's like, what? Where was this in the first movie? Yeah, I, I have to watch them, man. I don't know. Like, I heard the 
how do you feel about the movies in general? Because I heard that like the Michael Bay ones, people were like they're kind of like not great. But I don't know. I have I have no opinion really. I like them. Like I remember liking them, but I was also young, so and I'm also I, very easy to impress. So what do I know? I I, I like the movies because the storylines are good. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I look for is the storylines and stuff. Yeah. I, I, that's the reason why I like it is because the storyline is good and it makes sense. Like they're trying to do it as realistic as possible, mm-hmm. but they have to have that kind of way where, like, you know what, this is kind of like fake. So yeah, I mean that's that's how you make a good stuff. fantasy world. Like it's exactly. we know it's fake, but it still needs to be. You, you take realistic. things from real life and just. It needs to be realistic within yeah. the confines of your own world, or it's yeah. or it gets kind of. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, then. Yeah, it, it just I, the last movie, I felt that they dragged it on. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't say because like, I haven't seen it, but, you know, I believe because, it. Because, like, it, it's like Fast and the Furious. There's, mm. like, so many where you can do it. <laughs> That's fair. Like, it's 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 one of those movies where, like, you can keep... It's basically beating the dead horse. Mm-hmm. But you know people are going to watch it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, it's like that. But, like, since they have... Uh, I got to look it up here doing my google searches Mm -hmm. because the last movie uh the last night uh came out a few years ago Mm -hmm. 2017 yeah right so that long ago like 2017 so five years ago yeah so they've had five years to figure out if they want to continue it or not continue. Yeah, that's so, true. Like, I, I'd hope if I'm, they brought it back after all this time that you'd do it justice. So, in other words, they are bringing the Beast Wars into the equation. Mm-hmm. So I really want to see how that actually turns out because if they do it correctly, the Beast Wars have already been there on Earth hiding. Yeah. I see They just... Yeah. They're just hiding themselves to like stay secret, mm-hmm. or Actually, yeah, they do it a really cool way where they do it did in a TV show where two ships come in and crash on Earth, and the Autobots find them bef- right after they scan the area, mm-hmm. and they transform into the beasts. Because yeah. that would be a really cool way to do it. But the one thing that really pisses me off about the Transformers is, is that tell me, in, tell me about in the 80s, they had the Transformers movie for the show. Mm-hmm. So they brought they brought in a big planet. like like It's like Cybertron, but not Cybertron. It's okay. a living organism called Unicron. That's terrifying. So what happens is that Unicron can transform the Transformer into a different thing. What the fuck? So that sounds nightmarish. They, they took Starscream and Megatron and changed it, mm-hmm. changed them a little bit, where they changed the names and shit. But in the movie, they made Unicron Earth. Oh, that's weird. Which made no fucking sense. Yeah, Earth can't... Like, uh... Unicron is this big fucking planet that destroys shit and does whatever it wants and just says fuck you to everybody. And the Transformers, like, the Autobots end up fighting it and destroying it. They fight the whole planet? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. If I'm, <laughs> when I'm, if I'm remembering this right. But the one thing I want to see in this new movie is they bring Hot Rod in. He's from the original series. And Adam Samberg? No. <laughs> that's Andy Samberg. No way, that's his name is Andy Samberg. Yeah, I was like, well, I said it, and I was like, that's not his name. That's not right. Because Hot, cause but, hot Rod, you, cause cool yeah, yeah, dude. I got it. He gets it. But, but yeah, it's, I want to see them bring new, <laughs> like, not Samberg. new, but original characters into 
the movies. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, well, that makes sense. That's exactly what you'd want as a Transformers fan. You want to see like, the, that old hotness or the new, yeah. in the, but brought to new hotness. Yeah, but going back to the whole real life thing, yeah, it would just be chaos. I think that's all there is to really say about it. Like, yeah. I can't. I mean, it might. I think in the hypothetical that we break them down for parts, it could advance technology exponentially. Yes, it would. Because the technology they have, like, because you really think about it, that I guarantee it the way the human race works, is that they would try to figure out how to take put the technology into humans and have them transform. That'd be horrifying. That would be horrifying, but it'd be cool but like, shit. The thing is, like, if we had their technology, could we even replicate it? Because we don't have the only, like, material we have would be the few robots and then when we yep. run out that's all but the thing is is that if we take if we break them down for parts right we would be able to per se my math is right take their parts make a ship that can withstand everything okay i see where we're going from a you would be because i guarantee there's a tr- tracker Guaranteed that because in the fourth movie, they said there's a track tracker in every Transformer because they say, "Oh yeah, we were just created or whatever." Blah blah blah. Okay. And and but he, and there's a enemy that's in the movie says, "Well, I'm I was sent here by your creator to get you. Oh, and to destroy all of you. Interesting. So you never meet them. Huh. So. You would think if that would have happened in your life, say, so you know what, fuck this. There's more of them out there. We're going to take you, scrap you down, and then we're going to fucking set a nuke at you. But at the same time, that also brings up the question of, if there's a creator, what if he just creates an army and sends them at Earth because we scrapped them, scrapped his creations? See, that's a double-edged sword, right? So like, if you, if the human race finds out before scrapping transformers that there is an actual creator that's creating sh- like the transformers mm-hmm. you would want them on your side right so if there is an invasion you're like hey guys uh solve your own shit right but you would also say like you know what we'll give you a hand because you got it cool well, no, so it'd be like it'd be like a double-edged sword yeah. Like you would want to tear tear them up down, but you also have that fear where like if you do it, something's gonna bigger is gonna happen. So you might as well not do it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's just the thing is like if yeah, you know, it's I feel I feel like there's no good ending. No, there is you no. You keep good them ending. around. They fuck shit up because they're huge. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they willfully go to sleep until there's another catastrophic event. Maybe they and I don't know. with the human race being the way it is, we get bored easily. Mm-hmm. So them transforming for like six months is like, oh, that's so cool. After the six months, like, yo, man, that was so like last year. Do yeah. something new. <laughs> Do something new, idiots. Like, come on. Oh yeah, like you can, like, like in the first movie. Oh yeah. You have a shitty car? Oh, look, you just made a new one. Cool. Can they do that? Yeah. That's there's cool. a scene There's a scene in the first one where uh, Megan Fox turns to uh, the guy who plays Sam mm-hmm. and says, why does uh, your uh, if your car is a transforming, robo- transforming robot, why does it turn into this piece of shit Camaro and then it turns into a newer Camaro? Oh, dunked on it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I just think there's like, it could be an incredible advancement in technology, but it could also lead to like a lot of just destruction. Yes. Like an extinction level event. Like it, it there's a there's multiple, and this is what the fun thing about having these what if episodes yeah. is because anything can happen. Oh yeah. And like it's gonna be crazy. People can think of their own weird little theories if they want. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you how to think. But um, yeah, so the 
Oh, okay. before we head to the game side. So I just looked it up. The release, the release date that has not changed yet mm-hmm. is June 9th, 2023. Oh. And it looks like it's during, during the 90s. So they're going back in time. Interesting. Like Terminator. Oh. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just, all we can do now is hope it's good. Yeah, I really hope it's fantastic. So we're going to turn into the what if game scenario. The what if games. All right. So the game I picked is. Which called... I have no fucking clue. Victor so. has no idea what this game is, but I, I figured it was better to explain it on the podcast because it's a very. It's a simple concept that. Like the concept of the, like the story is. Or the, the the game is like simple, but it it has an it can lead to interesting discussion, I think, which is why I picked it. Um, so the game's called Celeste. Celeste. It is a game where you play as a girl uh, named Madeline, who is climbing a Celeste Mountain, and she is she deals with very severe mental health problems. So, the game feels amazing. Like, it's an amazing game. Like, it feels incredible to play. It's very satisfying. It's pretty tough, but it's really good. Feels like it's... Just feels great to play. And, like, nailing, like... um, Like, the tough platforming is... Feels really good. Yeah. Uh, It'll kick your ass a little bit. But, um... The game basically starts with her arriving at the mountain and being like, I got to do this. This is the, I got to overcome this and learn and like learn. Uh, she's basically trying to push herself to get out, break out of her shell. Uh, and as she starts climbing the mountain, she starts to discover that the mountain is kind of magical and it will do thing. It will basically take. My understanding, I might be wrong, but my understanding is the mountain <clears throat> will take your biggest insecurities and the things you fear or your like kind of like your not your sins, like kind of like your seven deadly sins, like your your va- your vanity or your pride and your that's the same thing, but you're, you're like you know, if you got, like, an ego or something, it'll, like, kind of use it against you. Yeah. And you need to physically overcome it. So. That's kind of cool. So, basically, like, for example, there's a guy in the game named Theo, and uh, in one of the levels, uh, he gets captured, or this, like, temple kind of, like, encases him in, like, this gem. Yeah. And there's a bunch of eyes staring at him because he has like this obsession with like the the game's equivalent of Instagram. Ooh. Like he's always taking pictures and like like being like he's all like, oh YOLO and he's like, you know, he's like a good oh, so he, He's got the snap hints. Yeah. So like yeah. So yeah, the level basically represents his his vying for like internet fame with all the eyes like yeah. staring at him and like so uh, it's like his 15 minutes kind of yeah like so and in the game semi spoilers uh Madeline, Madeline's insecurities come to life and she literally has to fight like an evil version of herself all the way up the mountain that is constantly insulting and like belittling and being like, you can't really do this, you know that, right? So I, I thought this game would be interesting because it all brings up the question of if this mountain existed in real life, and you know, let's say the people knew if you started to climb this mountain, you would face some shit. Yeah, I don't like. What do you think would happen? I don't know. As you have been explaining it, like the mountain was like real, and like you, so it like 
of course, bring up your insecurities. Mm -hmm. Which I think a lot of people have a, a lot of trouble facing. Like, no, people and, are very often in denial about a lot of their own shortcomings. Yeah, and, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's... I wonder, like, I kind of wonder if it would be turned into, like, a tourist attraction. Like, someone would buy the land and then, like, make people pay to go up. Yeah. And then they go up and just be, like, attacked by their evil self or something. Or, um, like, you have, you have, like, a wholesome guy. Mm hmm Like, he's, like, it's, uh, uh, what's, what is the word? It's not, like, a, like, something, like, as a monk. Like, like a monk would do. Like a Zen dude? Yeah, yeah. Like you go, like, he buy. let's like say he buys the property of the yeah. mountain. Right? Yeah. And, like, it's, it's like, he, no money, no nothing. You want to center yourself. You need to, if you want to be whole with yourself, you have to travel up this mountain to find yourself. Mm hmm If that, if that makes sense. Yeah. And the order to do that is that you got to go, as you said, there's different levels, of course, in the game where you got to go to. It's like that's different levels of like, so like let's say you're, you have, have like, let's say you, there's 10 insecurities you have, right? Right. So you have the lowest security, the insecurity first. So one, you can probably kick to the fucking wind right yeah. away. Stuff you like already as, kind of know about yourself, but you're just as you go on, mm -hmm. it gets harder. Yeah, harder. That's pretty much how yeah, you know, how the game goes, yeah. And then like the last one is that like if you turn back, it's those insecurities that you faced will come back. That's that's the way I see it. And that's so, kinda how the only is, like... the only way you can fully be one with yourself is to basically kick them all in the ass until you figure out why you that's had those a, that's the weird thing is like part part of it's like you know get like kicking away your bad habits but some of yeah. it is like accepting like like it's it's less about getting rid of something but more of accepting that thing is with you yeah it's, and it's, it's just a part of who you are yourself. but being able to overcome the fear and the, the the anxiety that comes with that. Yeah. Like it, it the concept is cool if that was actually real, but we all know there will be an asshole that will just buy the property. It's like, oh yeah, you wanna do this? Oh that's five hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, no for and, sure. And and you know people are stupid enough to do it. But you know, actually I wonder, I'm gonna Google this. Or maybe you know, like there's Mount Everest and people climb that all the time. Do they? Is there like a fee? Can you just go? I'm something? not sure because like I know like there's always records being broken because apparently like the two atomic plates that make Mount Everest are always pushing into each other mm -hmm. and making the mountain super high. So there's always oh, that dude. one up. The permit in Nepal costs eleven thousand dollars plus twenty five hundred to hire a local company to organize the permit, and eight thousand in Tibet. Ooh. While the permit prices for Everest are not cheap and might make you think twice about a climb, they're in place for good reason. Which and then it goes on to say more stuff. Yeah, apparently, like people, uh, a guy from work that made our stickers for us. Mm -hmm. He was watching a documentary on Mount Everest. And, like, all these people would say, like, stories and stuff. Everybody says the amount of bodies you see up there. Yes, I've heard are that. fucking crazy. Yep. And, like, he said, like, since the snow, like, of course, you're going to have, like, your off, like, weather and stuff like that. When the snow melts, you can see all the dead bodies. It's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently, like, yeah, I'm reading, like... Mount Ever going to Everest can be more expensive than buying a new car. As climbers can pay anything from thirty five k to a hundred thousand. Yeah. What? So I guess yeah, it would be kind of like that, especially especially like I think 
like in this hypothetical like obviously not to, I don't say this to disrespect people who have passed on Mount Everest but I think the death rate on a mountain where you have to face your deepest insecurities where people would not be able to handle that yeah I think it would be higher hypothetically and obviously no disrespect men uh, oh yeah like, but like I think a lot of people would not be able to face that. Like, I mean, you call out someone's bullshit nowadays, and they, yeah, they get all defensive and insecure. So, like, like, like it, it's just, it's just crazy because like you can you can take it both ways because like there's there are places up there where you can just go and find peace. Like you can go there and try to make peace with yourself. Or you have other people that legit take advantage of it and make you pay. Mm -hmm. So with the mountain, the hypothetical mountain, it's a good idea to try to make peace with yourself, to go through the different levels, how many insecurities you have. You can do that to self to make yourself feel at peace, to say, okay, you know what? I can accept everything that is right and wrong with me. I can be at peace now. But yeah. With that, you can take it where it's you. I'm sorry, but I will say you can make a buttload of money. I mean, I mean, people already are making an assload of money off of Everest, so yeah. And and like, even though like the the cost for Mount Everest is any good intentions, mm -hmm. you know they're like, man, these people are so dumb. I don't know. I mean, maybe. But, but I, I don't like, know. not like not not. I don't want to just assume they're anybody. malicious. But like, but they're they're thrill seekers, right? So like, if you love climbing, and like Mount Everest is like the dream you have, mm -hmm. you will save up that money to do that dream. Yeah. Not knocking every, anybody down. For me, I just find that stupid. There's no way I'm spending that time. So if you if Celeste Mountain was real, you think you wouldn't climb it? Let's say if, okay, hypothetically, let's say it's free. Uh, I mean it's free. You just have to get like the equipment you would need to climb a mountain and like yeah. food and stuff. I I don't know. I don't know if I would climb it or not. Hmm, that's fair. I mean because, you know. because because you're. You have you have all intentions to go up there to find inner peace or like find what your big insecurities are, even yeah. though you hid, hid them away. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, are you willing to go? Like, say, like you have like a big, really big insecurity that you hid away for years and years and years. Okay? Yeah, are you willingly to open up that wound at the very top and then just give up? Like, are you going to take that chance? I think in my case, I would. I would try. But I also deal like, with, like, a lot of shit. Like, like for me personally, I, I would be okay not going. That's the thing. I think it also depends on how much you, like, struggle with, like, like mental health. Or, like, I think it would be, like, anything in general, too. Like yes, of course the main thing would be mental health, right? Yeah. But if if you like per se like me, I I can't relate. Mm. So like I know I have some insecurities, but I've kind of made peace with that. Yeah, like I I I mean I've known you for a long time. There's never been a time where I'm like Victor's insecurities make it hard to be his friend. Yeah, like you know? I've. Which I wouldn't really, like, even if you were insecure yeah. about stuff, unless you were, as long as you weren't actively being an asshole, then I wouldn't. Yeah, like, I, like I, you, really. personally for me, I think I've had a handle on a lot of my shit. Yeah, which is good. Like, because, of course, it depends on, how, like, how you, like, how you are, right? So, like, I... Not trying to be like I'm going to steal your catch trades now. I'm not trying to be depressing or anything, <laughs> but I'm going to just say like it depends on how you grow up, right? Yeah. 
So like I, I mean, that definitely affects a lot of. It, it, and that's the thing. Like it depends. Like it's how you grew up. So I had to grow up like kind of like fast and mean. Kind yeah, of. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and, I definitely know what you mean. Like the, there was a lot and, of. And, yeah. Shit, shitty stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's there was a lot of situations, shitty situations, but the thing is, like, I accepted all that, mm-hmm. and like, of course, like for me, I would have no need to go up the mountain. Yeah, I feel you. Because right. there there are people that will want to go up the mountain to do what the mountain is capable to do. Yeah, and there's also people that like, you know what? I don't need to because I'm okay. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. Yeah, that makes sense. I think in my case, I think I also had, in a completely different way, I also had a pretty shitty upbringing, but not not in the same way. Like, I don't want to get into specifics, obviously. Yeah. But my stuff was more... the people outside of my like well I'm out of your circle I'm trying to find a way to word it that's not like too telling because I don't want to <laughs> if if people actually do listen to our podcast they, they already know that we, we try to we, we say what we want to say and try to say it as well as yeah I know I'm just oh. not trying to be like <laughs> I don't want to say something that puts your situation on out in the open because that's not for me to share oh no that i like honestly i don't really give a shit okay well then you know if, if you change your mind after what i say you can tell me and i'll edit it out but my stuff wasn't familial like it wasn't my family well in part partially it was a little bit but a lot of the stuff that affected me was people i met at school like the way i was treated constantly growing up uh, yeah. by a lot of different people some some of which was my family which is you know something I you know still need to work through but um like a lot of the stuff I went through is stuff that how do I word it it's like stuff that affects the way I think about myself. Yeah. So, like, like this routine pattern of getting treated like garbage by people affects the way I see myself. You know? Is it my fault that I have minimal friends? Is it? Is it just a... Am I just getting a lot of bad luck and a lot of the people I've known are assholes? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I get what you so it, it kind of leaves me in this space where I'm like, I don't really know what I need or if I'm the problem or if they were the problem or if yeah. it's a mix. And it it's very confusing. Uh, I mean, that's kind of like the boiled down version of the stuff I've yeah. been and, through. But... And like, honestly, like I I don't care. I'll, I'll say it right now. My upgrade bringing wasn't perfect. My parents weren't perfect. My mm-hmm. dad was my I will like I know my parents don't listen listen to this because my dad don't I don't think I have told my dad about the podcast but I know I told my mom I had she did have Spotify on her phone so I did put it on her phone mm-hmm. but if my parents do listen to this no disrespect but my dad was an alcoholic my mom was kind of crazy so mm-hmm. it was it's just it was more of the family aspect for me it was yeah a little bit you for you but it was outside of the home life for you. Yeah, like, uh, oh, there, there's a little but, bit of home life stuff. Like, my parents aren't, like, my parents are, you know, no, like, drinking yeah. problems or anything. But, like. Yeah. But, honestly, like, that's that's why I said, like, I wouldn't need to go on the mountain because I've already made peace of how yeah. I was brought up. And I was, you know, I definitely see that. Happen. Like, I've been around the, with you yeah. and seen how things are now. Like And. And the thing is, like, and like the way I see it is, like, I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, because, because even like, it's hard. It, it, yeah, it, that's it's, the stuff it's, that makes you you. Yeah, and like going to this mountain personally for me would be like, I've already 
gone through this shit. Yeah. I, I don't need to go through that. it again. Yeah, my situation's like confusing and like yeah. I almost need something cosmic to like help me put it all together and figure out if like I, I genuinely shit. don't know like if I'm a shitty person or what. Like I don't know. Like I think about it all the time. I'm like am I an asshole? Am I a bad person? I don't know. I I don't and have like, an answer. And and like like so, let's, like let's say hypothetically like I I like when I let's say I came up to you like if I was new to you mm-hmm. and like you act the way you act like you're kind of like to yourself and shit and like yeah if i wasn't me i would say like well that guy's a dick but (laughs) for me i would say oh like he's probably got some stuff he's going through like whatever like everybody has it whatever yeah that's definitely true there's a lot of like like you would like some people have that like itch to like say like hey like hi how are you like who are you blah 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 Mm -hmm. it's like it's like going to public school and just like walking up to a random kid. Hey, hey, you want to be friends? Yeah, true, true. Basically, that's that's yeah. how it is. You have the people that don't want to do that, which is fine and dandy. It's who you are. But you have also those other people where it's like, hey, let's go, like, let's go grab like a coffee or a drink or whatever, and let's talk. Dude, I, I, I'm so jealous of people that can just do that. Like, I remember uh, our friend Ashton. I was with him once, and we went to, uh, we stopped at, like, a convenience store. We were just yeah. hanging out, doing stuff. And he had, like, this, like, conversation with, uh, like, this just, like, this dude he didn't know. Uh, like, a, a cashier. And he was just, like, chilling and, like, talking and, like, cutting it up and stuff. And I was just sitting there quiet, and I was like, how the fuck are you doing this? You f- like, what? He's just, well, like... Oh, man, I do it all the time. I'm like, how? What? Y'all freaks. Like... I'm like, I'll, like, I'm uh, like, hey, thank you. Yeah, I'll take a, yeah, yeah, debit. Thanks, have a good day. Uh, the guy, uh, <laughs> there's two guys at Max. Yeah. Where where we live. And since I go in early for work, they mm-hmm. they always are on, except, like, they they switch the shifts, so usually one of them see me in the morning. Okay. And then, like, if I don't go in to the store for a couple days... Mm-hmm. And they see me the next day. It's like, oh, like, oh, where have you been? You haven't been here in a while. It's like, oh, like, I, I haven't needed to come to the store. Yeah. So, like, you yeah. want a different ship? No, no, still on the same shift. Just didn't need to go into the store. Yeah, like, I, I like, can't. It, oh, man, I can't do that. And, like, that, for me, I'm I'm able to do that because I see my I saw my dad do it a lot when I was growing up. Like, you'd go to the store, have, like, a fucking full-on conversation with the guy. My mom can, like, hold a conversation with random people. I, I can't do it. <laughs> like, like, but I also am, like, I've had a lot of bad experiences with people, so I have a lot of trust issues. And, like, so. for me, personally, like, if if you treat the guy that's ringing your shit in nice, he's gonna treat you nice. You just don't need to be a dick. Yeah. Like, I'm not, like, an and asshole like, or anything. But like, oh, no, no, I, I know where you come from. You just want to get your shit neat, right? I'm just... Like that's, I'm just, just that, that's basically what going to, like, a convenience store or, like, a, like Walmart or whatever. You're yeah. you're just there to get your shit. But, like, when, say, like, oh, it's like, oh, like, um, like, Walmart. Like, you have the people to tell her, like, not not the self checkout now, which is fucking robots. Mm-hmm, but true. you have the people that go like have that cashiers where they're like, oh like how oh, how was your shopping? Did you get what all you needed? Then you like turn around like, no, I didn't get anything in my list, but I got a whole bunch of useless shit and I don't <laughs> I got a pack of magic cards. Yeah, I got a pack of magic cards that I wanted, but I needed toilet paper and cat litter. And <laughs> I did not get that. Yeah. Like like it's 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 inter it's it's the interaction with the with the person, right? Yeah. So it's 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 cool. But kind of nervous because, like, you, like you also don't want to say the wrong thing. Oh, of course. But like, if you do, and they shrug it off, it's like, oh, this guy's cool, or this girl's cool, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 it, 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 it's just. But. I'm, I'm always, we, I've always been like kind of envious of people that can just do that. And like, it's it's yet again how, like, it's just. Yeah, it's just how you are as a person. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, like, 
very obviously an introvert. Like, <laughs> but you know, I and still like don't it's just bullshit. You know, obviously. yeah, it's that's that's all it is. It's like, like you have people. So going back to mm-hmm. the conversation at hand, since we like to. Yeah, we're, we're off topic. What a surprise. We, we, we weren't, we, thing is, we weren't off topic. We were kind of on the line of being off topic, yeah. not on topic. Yeah, that's fair. So that was a good thing. It was tangentially but, well, related. So going back to the topic of hand, personally, I would not need the mountain at all. But personally, for me, I would feel like someone would take advantage of that mountain and make people pay for it. I, I also think that would happen. But under the hypothetical that it wouldn't cost me... Uh, like both my kidneys. Do you have two kidneys? Yeah. Wait, am I stupid? You have two kidneys, right? Yeah, yeah, I have two kidneys. <laughs> like, well, hold, hold on. Let, let, let's get like a special guest here. Hey, babe. Can I ask you a question? So we're doing the What If episode. So uh, Jake's got this game where you climb up a mountain, and uh, okay. you gotta do, deal with your insecurities. If if it was in real life, would you do it? Would you go up the mountain and face your insecurities? Mm-hmm. You have she's to relate with... Okay, she's, no rush. She's, she's processing. Right? I think it's an interesting question. like, Because the question itself brings up some insecurity because you have to think about what you'd face. You would, you would climb up the mountain. Okay, the wife has to script for him that she would climb up the mountain. I mean, I think it's tough. Like I, oh, let's brave. do another scenario. If you, if the mountain was real, yeah, and you had to pay for it, would you do it? It depends on how much. Regardless of how much it is. Yeah. Regardless of how much it is, you would pay for it. Really? I mean, it it depends. Like, the thing is, like, it's really just like. Con- a condensed therapy session. Yeah, it's like really, like a, ho- it's like really tough physically, instead of mentally. So basically, well, you're having your hour therapy session in it's a like mountain. A, it's like a high intensity therapy session, but with a mountain. Yeah, and it's way more in your face. It's like an aggressive therapy session. So, so I am the odd man out. I, I would not do it, and I, there's two people, you and the wife would but do it. But I think it, so. it's completely valid that you wouldn't, because, like, it makes sense. Like, you know, you don't need to. I think it's, yeah, so, but I think it's still, like, for some people, it's worthwhile to, like, yeah. engage with, especially if you have, like, a hard time kind of understanding yourself and knowing yeah. what you need out of life. Because, like, some people like, just kind of struggle with that. Like, I mean, like I... Like, trying to find a purpose or something? Yeah. Like, I think it can alleviate a lot of anxiety. I mean, it probably caused a lot in the moment, but, you know. Yeah. You got to be ready for that. That's part of the yeah, that's like, part of the grind, baby. And, like, as it is, you would, you would have to, like, legit keep telling yourself, let's say you make the trip to go to this mountain or whatever. So mm-hmm. you have to process, like, a... I'm not backing out. I gotta do this. Whatever it throws at me, I gotta. And that, that it. absolutely <laughs> happens in the game. Like, there's a lot of times when she's like, "This is a fucking terrible idea. I should leave," but she keeps doing it anyway. The game's like a beautiful like, allegory for mental health. By the way. like, I, I highly recommend it to anyone listening. Like, it's a beautiful game. Like, it it looks like, beautiful. The music's beautiful. Like, every the story, everything about it is amazing. It's also and like that. Like, and then that's also the other thing, right? So, like, you can take the game personally. Mm-hmm. You can take it with a different viewpoint on the game. Mm-hmm. So, let's say if I play it, it'd be a different viewpoint. I me. think, yeah, I think if you play it, it would be almost like a more, it would be less of like, this is something I go through. And it would be like, yeah. hey, maybe I can understand my friend Jake more by playing this game. Yeah, it's it's like one of those things where like oh, oh I I kind of get it but not get it at the same time but ah uh, that was cool, mm-hmm. but yeah it, it depends on like because I like I like gaming because you can take kind of what you have gone through with your personal life with games yeah. and make the game yourself. 
Yeah, I think I think you would have a good time playing Celeste. I would love to play that together sometime. Yeah, because I think like if we ever start doing Let's Plays again on this channel, that's one I would love to watch you play. Especially because yeah. it'd be funny because it's very hard. <laughs> like, Is it Dark Souls hard? It's pretty fucking tough. Okay, Dark Souls is hard. It's, it's got that same Dark Souls thing where it's like you gotta learn how to do shit. Yeah. And then you kind of, when you get in the rhythm, you're like, oh yeah, I can kick this game's ass now. Yeah. But yeah. Um, all in all, when it's all said and done, I think I would try climb the mountain, learn about myself, try to let it make me a better person, a better friend, because I feel like I've been a shitty friend lately, but, you know, I'm, it's... I don't know. I guess that's not really for me to decide. No, I, I get it. You would, you would personally choose to go to the mountain to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um, to It's like a, a self-journey. Yeah, it's absolutely. For me, I personally wouldn't do it. Yeah, I feel you. I personally wouldn't do it. You fought, you fought Just, your battles, you know what's going on. Yeah, like, I have basically made peace with most of my demons. Yeah, which is good. Besides my wife, which is a huge demon. <clears throat> Damn. Horns and everything. True. True. Well... That brings us to uh, the end of another podcast. We can we can discuss our uh, what we've been up to lately. You uh, listen to any good music? Uh, uh, I've been no uh the fall. Well, I've been listening to music, but it's the same stuff I've been listening yeah, to. Yeah, it's rock all punk or, rock, and, yeah, which is I've fine. Been, it bangs. I finished the newest episode of Bro Ohio last week. Uh, I've been slowly listening to Star Wars theories, and I've been. Catching up on Fallout lore. That's uh, what I've been doing. What's Fallout lore? Uh, Fallout lore. Oh, is Fallout a, lore. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. It's a, pod, a podcast, okay. which it's actually pretty funny because uh, since we're on Discord, I am actually not part of the Discord, but I have it Discord on Discord. It's a uh, Robot Radio, and it's a whole bunch of other stuff. So like, there's multiple, like this this guy has made a whole whole thing. Mm-hmm. So he's got a chat for uh, Fallout 76. He's got a uh, cyberpunk lore. He's got Destiny show. He's, he's got cool. Dragon Age lore cast. He's got Fallout lore cast. He's uh, there's uh, Legends of Zelda lore cast, which I see right here. He started making a Lord of the Rings lore cast. That's cool. That's kind of like a sweet. Discord I'm in, but it's for RuneScape stuff, and it's just like like, like it's literally bunch of- every little thing about the game. Like it's. Like it's crazy. Like the the dedication people have to these servers is nuts. And the cool thing is, is that he has uh, a thing up that where like he, because uh, he updates all his episodes, right. like even his old episodes with like new content and shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like his new his, his old episodes will say, oh like uh, if you have any questions on how to make your own podcast or like how to make it like a channel or whatever, yeah. feel free to hit me up. So that's cool. But. That's, that's dope. That's yeah, nice I, I just I just been listening to that because I am going. I'm, I swear to God, I'm going to start working on my Fallout Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I hope so, man. I fucking hope so. Because <laughs> I just got the book from my brother for Fallout Four for some designs for the yeah. monsters. Got all the art and and all it's a it's the art book for Fallout Four because the the Fallout, um, oh, fuck, what uh, the like the basically role playing game for Fallout is based around Fallout Four, hmm. but I will be tweaking it a little bit so it's gonna be fun as shit. So yeah, that's what I've been listening to. What have you been listening to, buddy? Uh, I don't really have a lot to share in particular. One song that I've had on repeat a lot is uh, that new AJR song. The DJ is oh, crying yeah. for help. Yeah, highly recommend that song. Is amazing. The violins oh, it, in that song, 
Oh, oh yeah, that's the God. that's the what the one with the cool like the way they did the video, right? Yeah, the, uh, the yeah. One, they shot the video in Paris and it's super trippy. It's really cool. Yeah. Highly recommend the song. Highly yes, recommend I, HR in general. They're just super talented yes. dudes. Yes, I really hope they don't sign on to the label and like have the label fuck them over. I I don't think they would. I mean, at this point, if they haven't, I don't think they would. Like they're they're incredible. They're so talented. Highly recommend it. Like personal favorite songs from AJR, the DJ is crying for help. Humpty Dumpty, that song bangs. Uh, one hundred bad days. I like that one. That's a good ass song. Oh, I like a uh, Bummerland. Bummerland, yeah. Yep. But it nicks my summer plans. Great song. Uh, I like uh, um, um, uh, like uh, d- don't throw away my Lego. Oh, yeah, Don't Throw Away My Legos is a great song. That was a good song. That hits home. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like, That's the thing with their music is it like it's really, like, relatable. And, like, it's not, like, shallow bullshit like you hear in music and, sometimes. Like, it's really and I stuff. like it because it's just not one style of music either. It's, they're it's very, yeah, they ve- they're very, ex- they really seem to, like, ex- they, lo- they, they genuinely have an, a very clear love for making music. And they are constantly exploring sounds, and like yeah. literally, like uh, I'll link it to you after this. Hopefully, if I remember, actually, I can link it to you right now, uh, or we can watch it after this or whatever before you hop off. Um, but they have a making of their song "Bang." Yeah, and it literally, it's like the inspiration from the song. They tell you in the video, they're like. Uh, yeah, we heard someone knock on our door, and we really liked the way it sounded. So we put that in a song, and I'm like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Where they can just take something like that and just say, yeah, we just mm-hmm. heard it. And just, like, uh, their album, move. um, I, not, what was the album called? Um, OK Orchestra, I think. Uh, they had this, like, they're kind of, I believe they said this, I might be wrong, it's been a while their theme was like talking instruments so they would do this thing a lot where they would like make the sound of an instrument with their mouth or like by singing and it would like fade into instruments like they do that in Bummerland where they're like and then like it fades and the trumpet's playing that exact like tune and then like they have like a different instrument playing that same tune like it sounds amazing It's like the the trumpet, well, pumpets, the fucking trumpets are like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then they have like a, I think a ukulele, I can't remember, a guitar or something. And they yeah. do the same thing where they, it's like. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. It's, it's such a good, like they, they, you can tell they have pride, like super Absolutely. big pride into the music. Like they, they write from like a very real place. Like not just in the lyrics, but in everything. Like it's amazing. It's so yeah. cool. And I, I love them, man. They're incredible. And yeah, the DJ is crying for help is an amazing song. Oh yeah. So I mean I already know the answer to this question. We already kinda of t- t- touched on it, but what you been playing this week, man? Uh I've been playing Fallout Four. Well, a lot of Fallout Four I've seen. I, I, started, I walked into your place yesterday and you had a laser gun that was turning people into piles of goo and I was like, Oh, oh yeah. Shit. I, uh, <laughs> I I am trying to stay within the Minutemen right now. So yeah. I am using their laser gun where you have to like crank it a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you were so, like kinda like like a jack in so the box. Yeah, so I kinda fucked up today because when I was doing it, so you have to upgrade your guns. Mm-hmm. So you have to do like all your like leveling up and shit okay. i accidentally did another one to the gun making but i was supposed to do it into science oh like but put a, you put a skill point in the wrong yeah okay. yeah but i don't have enough skill points in my intelligence to do science so i gotta work oh, my way up to that, shit. that sucks yeah, yeah. Well, but if, there soon. but thing is that i can still upgrade my gun to make it cooler so but I'm waiting for, like, because I like it because when you crank up the gun, like, if you crank it up once, it goes, a zzz, mm-hmm. and when you crank up two, it goes, a zzz, 
and like we pick up with three. I, lo- I love details like that in games. And then when you, I, I'm waiting to crank it up to six because I guarantee it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, dude. That reminds me of, um, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Because, like, I, I have a feeling if I crank it up to six, yeah, I'll be able to kill a super mutant in one hit. I mean, you were turning do like humans into piles of goo, so I can see it. Yeah, and like uh, I was turning ghouls into goo too. Yeah, like a pile was, of ass. That shit was gross. <laughs> <laughs> like he just like walked into like a v- vault and like shot a guy in the oh, back. Yeah, and just because, a pile uh, of I was, shit. Uh, yeah, because I was. Yeah, because you walked in right when I was uh, doing uh, the mission to uh, get Detective Valentine back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was that was good stuff. I like watching that. I gotta play Fallout still, man. I'm I'm not it, familiar enough with a game franchise that seems to be very well liked. Yeah, but the thing is, I can't play any new games that come out for Fallout because Bethesda is not with deals with Sony anymore. Oh, they're not. I don't know that. Because hmm. uh, Microsoft bought them. Oh, did they? I must have yep. missed. How did I miss that? I, I if I'm because my brother's into Microsoft because he has an Xbox One so he's really big into fingery that bullshit out yeah so got that sucks because I fucking hate Microsoft yeah. Uh, but yeah it's it's I I'm starting I I am trying so hard not to do any side missions this yeah. round Fallout Four because I always get trapped in the side missions and mm-hmm. I totally lose myself in the main mission I understand that brother. So I'm trying to do my best RPGs actually in a complete, to complete the main mission and then go off and do yeah. the side missions. I feel you. What have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing a cool game called Wander Song on my stream. Oh, is it, isn't that the, the game where you can dance and shit? Yeah, you dance and it's so yeah. the game starts. The game literally starts like this. You wake up, your guy's dreaming. You, you're dreaming about being a hero, and he picks up this huge sword, and he is too weak to carry it. He cannot carry the sword. And he like tries to like run it into a monster, and it just like bounces off, and he sucks. And then he just starts singing at it and kills it. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole game is this this like very like energetic happy dude who loves singing and dancing and you're like like uh, ghosts invade a town and yeah. you and you like sing at them and like banish them and then you like learn this like spectral language and like talk to like ancient <laughs> creatures and figure out that the universe is going to end soon so you have to um learn how to sing a special song that will do something to stop the. W- I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just. I'm kind of early on still, but it's it's a really beautiful game. Like there's um this part where this girl's mom passes away, and you go to the cemetery and like resurrect her. You don't resurrect her, but you like bring her ghost back. Yeah. But her mom and the ghost speak like a different language now. Like she speaks this like ancient, like weird language. I don't know. And she just speaks normal English. And, like, you have to, like, sing. You, like, sing. They both play the accordion. And you sing the, the songs they play on their accordions to each other. Yeah. And they understand what they, each other are saying. And it's a really beautiful, like, part of the game. It's incredible. And then obviously the music in the game is insanely good. It's, like, it's really nice. This is a great game. And it just, it looks nice, it plays well, like, it, it's it got a really nice art style. Yeah. It's just a very, very uh, touching game. And it's funny as well, like, it's good. It's a good time. Highly recommend it. Wander Song, all one word. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Oh, God, I dropped my phone. But, yeah, I've been streaming that sometimes. Um, I'm... Looking forward, I'm going to actually stream it once we're done with the podcast tonight. Uh, a game called Luck Be a Landlord. Luck Be a Landlord? Yeah, so I watched the trailer. I, From what I can tell, you literally have... You gamble on a slot machine so you can pay your rent. 
Oh. And you like if you don't pay your rent fast enough, you lose. But you have you like buy like so like your slot machine has like five like of the spinny rolling yeah. things. And you have to like buy things to like fill out the slot machine. So it's like you can buy like a chef face and if you the chef face lands beside a like an apple, you get more money. So that's like that's my understanding. So you basically have to like buy upgrades to your slot machine so you can keep paying your rent or something like that. I haven't played it yet. Wow. This is all for what I got from the trailer. Yeah. And I'm I'm looking forward to trying it because it looks fun. It looks cool. It's called Luck Be a Landlord, and I thought that was a great name. That is a great name. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do after this. And uh you watch anything uh, you watch anything good? You been watching anything uh, good I, good? I've been watching Young Sheldon. That's right, you told me about that. And I've been watching Andor. It's a Star Wars show. Right. Right. So I've been watching those two things. I've been watching Young Sheldon during dinner, and if I'm not gaming and the wife not playing her Sims, because she's getting back to the Sims now, mm -hmm. if she's not playing that and I'm not gaming, we're usually watching stuff and so we've been watching Young Sheldon together, which is fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. It is. I say it's a must-watch, but the thing that's really kicking me in the ass right now is because I haven't finished all of the Big Bang Theory. Oh, so they kind of tied in. They... It's, it's not really tying in. It's all the stories that Sheldon has said over the seasons. Oh, so they're like kind of references. Family. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm the type of guy that likes to watch a season, uh, it's like a series, and like, oh, yeah, I, I know where that's from. Mm -hmm. And, but like, I, like, honestly, I don't think you need to watch it, like, watch The Big Bang to watch Young Sheldon, but it does kind of make more sense to you. It, it, it lets you appreciate it a little more. Right? Yeah. Like, but yeah. I've been watching that. I recommend it. It's really funny. And I've also been watching Andor, which is a Star Wars, new Star Wars season, which is between the Return of the Sith and New Hope. But mm -hmm. right near the movie Rogue One, it has nothing to do with Jedi's, it has nothing to do with Emperor Palpatine, it has nothing to do with those people. It's just the fact that the Rebel Alliance is starting up small mm -hmm. and then going to expand. I haven't watched all of it yet. I just got to episode five, even though it's been out for a couple weeks. But mm -hmm. yeah, I've been slowly watching. Oh, cool. Wow. I, I've been enjoying it. I, I, I like the spinoffs of Star Wars, of like shows and movies, because it's a new take on it. Because like the, the, not the nine movies you can watch are like just like oh, all, all about Jedi's and shit, the Force. But mm. this one is nothing to do with that uh but in the one season i will recommend is obi-wan yeah i remember you talking Obi about one was a banger <laughs> because it really references at the end of the series where the message that leia gives obi-wan as an old man in episode four for New Hope, it mm -hmm. ties into that. So okay. it, with the season for Obi Wan, it makes sense for what go goes on in Episode Four for New Hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I gotta say, Obi Wan's my boy. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know. I've never been like a. I mean, I haven't really seen Star Wars, so I don't know. I don't the know thing is, watch. Star Wars isn't for everyone, so. I mean, we watched all the Lord of the Rings, and I love those, so maybe we gotta do the same thing with the Star Wars movies sometime. Man, like, the Star Wars movies are so long. Like, I they're mean, not as... Lord of the Rings extended was pretty fucking long. Yeah, but, like, if you really want to watch Star Wars, you have Phantom Menace, Clone Wars, you have Return of the Sith, you have uh, Rogue One, you have Solo, which has Donald Glover as yep, Lando. Yep, I remember this, He's a really good Lando, which I think they're still making the TV shows show about him Ooh. with Donald Glover playing Lando Ooh. again. I really hope so. And then you have New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, which is probably one one of my favorite ones, which because the storyline is just perfect of all together. You have Return of the Jedi, and then you have the new, new, new Star yeah. Wars that 
is not directed by George Lucas. You have A Force Awakens. The Last Jedi was actually pretty good. Saw that in theaters. And you have The Rise of Skywalker. Wasn't too bad. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You have, uh, then you have the TV shows, too. So, yeah. Yep. 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 But, like, you know. You, yeah. But with Star Wars, you can, depending on how you want to watch it, the way I like to watch it, I watch four, five, six, one, two, three, and then I watch seven, eight, nine. But the way I watched it with Tori, my daughter, I watched it one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. We've gone up to six, and we haven't watched the last three. She still talks about how to do in a marathon again, which we always do every couple of three, <laughs> every couple, every couple months. Yeah. We do it. We get to like the sixth one, and we stop. Yeah, but we yeah, got. I gotta tell her we gotta watch seven, eight, and nine because I do let a lot of people shit on them, but I do like those movies because it's. Of course, Star Wars, but the storylines are kind of good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What have you been watching since I've been talking a lot? Oh well, it's all good because I have nothing. <laughs> I haven't really been watching anything. I've been. Have you been watching YouTube? I mean, yeah, but I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't really watch anything of note. Like it's nope. just, you know, whatever YouTuber I'm in the mood for. <laughs> And, uh, well, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, that's all the questions. Sure. That, so, that's a fun one. This, is, this was a fun long one. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a fun long one if you're not careful. Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna give me the foot long like Subway does? Yeah, except it's actually only like 11 inches, right? Oh, damn it. Didn't they do that? They like, they were like, no, 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 no. What happened was, didn't they get yeah, so. That? Yeah, someone measured their bread, and got and the that customer sued them. Yep, I remember that. But I don't, I don't think they won though. I mean, that makes sense. That's a little, I mean, because so... there's a lot of there's a lot of loopholes you can play with that because you can turn around like the Subway Corporation can turn around and like, well, if you really think about it, like maybe the bread wasn't cooked fully to the twelve inches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of shit you can play with. Yeah. I mean, it's just like a ridiculous thing to sue someone over. Oh, anyway. yeah. It, but like, people do be it, desperate for money. Yeah, because the, you know those, uh, like, you know how, like, you get, like, a hot chocolate or a coffee and it says caution hot? Yeah. It's because someone burnt themselves because they spilled their coffee. Right. And it's like, yeah. It's like, come on. Yeah, I'm going to see you now because there's no war- warning label. Like, why would you put a warning label? from a coffee that you know it's going to be hot in the first place. Yeah, I don't know, man. Some people. Yeah. Some people. The human race is dumb. True. Me too, dude. Me too, brother. Well, this is a fun podcast. I hope you enjoyed listening. I enjoyed I recording you. it. I really enjoy, enjoy t- just talking about it, cause, like talking on it, because I don't do any of that technological shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just here for the fun ride. Victor, you know, I'd like to say, to get real for a second, thank you okay. for being my friend. It means a lot to me. No problem. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> I'm honored. The privilege is all mine. Just remember, a friend in need is a friend indeed. I mean, I don't want to be in need of you, though, like. Like, that sounds like kind of sad. Like, I don't want to be like, you know, oh, Victor, I need something from you, you know? Well, I can't really say a friend with weed is a friend in D because, like, you don't smoke weed. So. Yeah, so. A friend right. who plants seeds is a friend who... S- sneeze? <laughs> who just sneezed. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's that's going on my tombstone. That's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> it's like very, my tombstone really is small. Right? Say, uh, fat bitch inside. <laughs> Call this number to make my phone ring. <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine? Oh, uh, I can, I can just imagine like just like being a prankster and just putting a number on on your gravestone saying, "Please call this number." And then you call it, and it's like, "What? Don't call this. What are you doing?" 
It's like a number for Scientology or something. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that though. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever goes to my grave's like, oh well, it's on his grave. Let's do it. It's like, oh, welcome to Scientology. Uh, <laughs> you want like an FBI years. watch list? Just call him <laughs> yeah. <the number. laughs> or like, is this some random number? Are you Craig? <laughs> uh, no, um, no. 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 Well, get rid of this number. You're not Craig. <laughs> next, person, next person calls. Are you Craig? My my name's Craig, but I don't know if I'm the Craig you wanted to, to talk to. Yeah, I could be a Craig. I could be whatever you want. <laughs> I could be I could be your little Craig. <laughs> please be let me be your Craig, please. Craig please. has to be the least sexy name in human history. Like how how can you be sexy with Craig? Like how how like how Craig. Like, like that shit here. that shit violent to say. Craig. Try to say it's Craig like, and not sound angry. Craig. Alright, well, well you can't. You just can't. Craig. 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 It just feels like you're mad when you say it, you know? <clears throat> Craig. It's, no. You Craig. Just no, even that, like, the way my mouth moved, I'm like, I felt pissed. <laughs> Craig. Yeah. Like, no offense if your name's Craig, but you're mad. Like, you know what? You know what I want to leave everybody with? Please. Yeah, please. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this with everybody. Mm -hmm. Just remember, when you smile, your tongue goes numb. Is that... Is that real? I'm smiling I'm right trying. now. My tongue's fine. <laughs> Do you smile? I saw. I don't know. I saw the video on uh, Facebook and in uh, the caption afterwards, like, huh, "I made you do it." <laughs> oh yeah, it's one of those. That's what I figured. <laughs> All right, let's close this so, out with some with some good tongue twisters. Because uh, uh, there's one I saw earlier that I want you to try. Okay. But I can't remember what it is. Actually, you know what? Do this one. One smart fellow, he felt smart. One smart fellow, he felt smart? Yes. As fast as you can. <laughs> one smart <laughs> one smart fellow, he felt smart. Keep going. Keep keep going. Keep going. Wow. One smart fellow. One, <laughs> <laughs> one smart fellow, he felt smart. One fellow smell it. Wow, my fucking God. <laughs> Because it make because you on intent you go one fart smeller and it's that's comedy <laughs> gold right there. It is <sighs> one smart fella. Well, he felt smart. One smart fella. He felt smart. One fart smeller. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, well, really. Uh, let your farts be smelly and not knock at anybody with you. <laughs> that's our new outro. Let your farts be smelly. Let your smarts be felly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>